Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another video. Today we're going to be installing the ink on the Epson EcoTank 2650, starting with the black ink. Uh, but before I go into explaining what you're going to be doing here, uh, there will be some information in the description below uh, for some brand new uh, Epson ink that's going to be remanufactured, so it's going to be uh, less expensive, as well as a uh, a link for this printer and to my website bestprinterstech.com i hope that this uh, video ends up being helpful for you uh, but let's get started and i'll explain kind of what you're needing to do here so you're turning your printer on and you have it on at this point and you've gone through the setup to the point where it's asking you to charge the ink and you are now removing all the plastic anything that you need to off of the um, ink bottle that's what it is now it's an ink bottle and you have ink compartments here from black, cyan, magenta, and yellow that you are needing to fill up. So you're removing all of this plastic, putting your cap back on, and then you are, you are lifting your bottle of ink into the compartment. And you can fill this up within a few seconds. You, all you have to do is squeeze really quick. And just keep in mind that you really don't want to stain anything uh, when you are... Uh, installing the ink charging the ink into this uh, ink compartment so make sure you have a towel laying down and, and also if you um, feel that you need to use some gloves because this stuff is hard to get out if you do get it on your uh, clothing or on your skin it's just not a good thing to do so have a towel handy at the very least <clears throat> so you've got your uh, black ink installed there and towards the end i will show you what you need to do with the printer um, in order for it to process and charge the ink actually there is a 20 minute period where it is charging the ink into the system and you are now installing your cyan ink and if you notice here i'm doing everything uh, fairly slow taking everything off and just gently um, taking off all the plastic because i don't want to stain anything so that's what you're doing for each one is you're taking off the plastic there's some covering right on the bottle as well and I am now, if you see there, there's those, there are plastic covers uh, for each one of these colors. And there's a little section there where you can put it when you are charging it, which is on the right hand side. And then you can place it back in once you're done. So what I'm doing here with the first two colors is I just kind of lifted it in and pressing it, squeezing it gently. And you'll see here that with the next two colors, I'm squeezing a little bit harder and uh, faster, and it is filling up a lot faster. So don't be afraid to squeeze these as much as you need to to fill it up quickly. Uh, that's completely fine. Here I'm just trying to be gentle, and you really want to use all the ink that is in the bottle in the compartment. And at this point, I... I'm not doing that. I'm not completely filling them up because I don't want to overfill and have it drip over. But towards the end here, I see you will see that you can fill up, put all the ink that's in that bottle in that ink compartment, and you'll be fine. Okay, so we are now installing magenta. So you have four colors in total. And this is really the, just one of the first things you need to do when you are uh, setting up this printer. This is a part of the printer setup. So if you see there, I'm squeezing a little bit faster. See there, I'm squeezing a little faster there and it's filling up. It just takes, it's a few seconds to fill up if you squeeze it um, fast enough. And I got a little bit on my hand there, so I wiped it off on the towel. Again, make sure to have, even if you want to have a damp towel with you, that'll be really helpful. All right, and we're moving faster here, and we're moving on to yellow. Okay, 
Now yellow is the color that is installed the quickest. So you will see here, I remove the cap, lift it right up in there and boom, filled. If you see how fast I'm squeezing it and it's not a hard squeeze, it's just a quick squeeze and it's within a few seconds, it's filled up. That's all it really takes. So I was doing it slow in the beginning, but you can see towards the end there, you can speed it up. There's no problem with that. Once you're done, you're gonna make sure everything is covered there. You're gonna close it up. Uh, you're gonna close that um, covering there. And you've got that part of it done. Now, really you should just throw out all the bottles and they should be all, already all in the ink uh, compartment. At this point, in order to charge uh, the, the ink and the printer, at this point, when you're at this screen, you're gonna hold down the OK button for between five to 10 seconds. Refer to the manual for this, of course. And uh, here, I was not able to figure it out, but it's very, very easy. You hold down the OK button, then you're gonna click the Start button because it's gonna prompt you to do that, and it'll begin charging it. So that's really all there is to it, guys. Refer to your manual for the uh, for this if you weren't able to get it the first time. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my website, bestprinterstech.com. Um, but that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.